Namaste dear children, I am Rega. Welcome to my channel Rega's Knowledge Hub. Today we will see NCRT Classic Social Science Annual Exam Session Ending Exam Sample Paper. Multiple choice questions carrying one mark each. Section A. Who founded the Sangha, a community of bhikshus and monks and later bhikshunis or nuns who dedicated themselves to practicing and spreading his teachings. Options are Option A Ashoga, Option B Mahavira, Option C Buddha, Option D Birbal. Correct answer is Option C Buddha. He founded the Sangha. Next one. Dash marks the beginning of the harvest season in many parts of India on or around January 14. Option A Diwali, Option B Ramzan, Option C Easter, Option D Magra Sankranti. Correct answer is Option D Magra Sankranti. Next one. The group of individuals or the system that makes the rules and ensures that they are followed is called a dash. Option A Government, Option B People, Option C Patwari, Option D Sarpanch. Correct answer is Option A Government. Next one, each Grama Panchayat elects a head or president called the Dash. Option A Sarpanch, Option B Mahapanch, Option C Patwari, Option D Panchayat Secretary. Correct answer is Option A Sarpanch. Next one, which is a primary sector? Option A Construction, Option B Healthcare, Option C Agriculture, Option D Banking. Correct answer is Option C Agriculture. The vast plains of the Punjab, today divided between India and Pakistan, and Sindh, now in Pakistan, are watered by the Dash and its tributaries. Option A Ganga, Option B Indus River, Option C Yamuna, Option D Krishna. Correct answer is Option B Indus River. Next one, the Dash is the organ that makes new laws or legislates. Option A, Executive. Option B, Legislature. Option C, Judiciary. Correct answer is Option B, Legislature. The participatory democracy involves Option A, Women. Option B, Men. Option C, Old Age People. Option D, All. Correct answer is Option D, All. Which is a non-economic activity. A business person selling school bags in the market. Workers employed in a car manufacturing factory. Parents cooking food for the family. A lawyer arguing a case. Correct answer is parents cooking food for the family. Which type of government allows people to elect their representatives? Option A, military rule. Option B, democracy. Option C, monarchy. Correct answer is option B, democracy. Section B, short answer questions, two marks each. What are tertiary activities? Give an example. All those economic activities that provide support to people involved in primary and secondary activities are called tertiary activities or tertiary sector economic activities. Can you say an example? The driver of a truck transports grains and vegetables from the farm to a factory or the market. This is an example of tertiary activity. What is meant by unity in diversity in the Indian scenario? Unity in diversity in the Indian scenario refers to the idea that despite the vast differences in languages, religions, cultures, ethnicities and traditions across India, there is a fundamental underlying unity that binds the nation together. What is a community and what is its role? Families are connected not only within themselves but also with other families and the people around them. Such a group of connected people may be called a community. What is the role of community? Communities offer a sense of belonging, connection and emotional support. Members can rely on each other for help and guidance. Communities can share resources, information and expertise among their members. 
What is the meaning of democracy? What is the difference between direct democracy and representative democracy? The word democracy comes from two Greek words, demos meaning people and kratos meaning rule or power. So democracy literally means the rule of the people. What is direct democracy? Direct democracy is a form of democracy where citizens participate directly in the decision making process. What is representative democracy? Representative democracy is a type of democracy where citizens elect representatives to make decisions on their behalf. Name the three tiers of the Panchayati Raj system. What are the key functions of each of the three tiers? Grama Panchayat at village level. This is the foundation of the Panchayati Raj system. It operates at the village level. Panchayat Samiti at block level. This tier operates at the block or intermediate level covering a group of villages. Silla Parishad at district level. This is the apex body at the district level overseeing the Panchayat Samidis within the district. Section C. Short answer questions. 3 marks each. What are urban local bodies and what are their functions? Local government structures in urban areas are called urban local bodies. They are decentralized. They are responsible for the administration and development of cities and towns. What are their functions? Manage infrastructure like roads, water supply, parks, etc. Maintaining the burial ground, garbage collection and disposal, checking the implementation of government schemes, collecting local taxes and fines, conducting health camps, etc. These are the functions of urban local bodies. Which are the two types of activities? Explain. Activities are divided into two groups or categories. Economic activities and non-economic activities. What are called economic activities? Economic activities are those that involve money or are performed in exchange for money. For example, a business person selling school bags in the market. A farmer selling produce in the market. A lawyer arguing a case and earning a fee etc. These are examples of economic activities. Then what are non-economic activities? Non-economic activities are those that do not generate income or wealth but are done out of feelings like gratitude, love, care and respect. For example, parents cooking food for the family or helping their children with the school work, youth taking care of the grandparents, etc. What are some of the rules you follow in your family and neighborhood? Why are they important? So there are some rules we have to follow in our family and in the neighborhood. In the family, we have to respect elders and family members, help with household chores, being punctual for meals and family events, be truthful. Then in the neighborhood, keeping noise levels down, respecting property, following traffic and parking rules, participating in community activities. Which are the three organs of government? What are their different roles? First one, the legislature. The legislature is the organ that makes new laws or legislates. Sometimes it also updates or removes existing laws. This is done by an assembly of representatives of the people. Next one, the executive. Executive is the organ that implements or executes the laws. This includes the head of state who may be a president, a prime minister or a chief minister, the ministers and any agency responsible for enforcing law and order. 
Next is the judiciary. The judiciary is a system of courts which decides whether someone has broken the law and if so, what course of action should be taken including punishment if necessary. What was the main reason for the decline of Harappan civilization? The main reason was environmental changes. For example, climate change, changes in monsoon patterns led to droughts, then changes in river systems, particularly ancient Saraswati river and the Indus river itself would have disrupted water availability for agriculture and urban centers, then flooding while providing fertile silt repeated and intense flooding could have also caused significant damage to settlements. Section D 5 marks match the following. A group of texts built upon Vedic concepts that is Upanishad. Siddhartha Gautama Lumbini. Then Varthamana Vaishali. Harappan town planning well planned streets. Great bath Mohenjo-daro. Section E, 5 marks, long answer type questions. Write a classification of economic activities into economic sectors. The three main types of economic sectors are primary, secondary and tertiary economic sectors. First one, primary activities. Those economic activities in which people are directly dependent on nature to produce goods are known as primary activities or primary sector economic activities. I will give you some examples. You can write any two or three examples. Examples work involving cultivation of grains and vegetables from agricultural farms, then collecting wood from the forest, extracting coal from mines, fish from fisheries, eggs from poultry farms, etc. The most common primary activities are agriculture, mining, fishing, raising livestock, forestry, etc. Next, secondary activities. Economic activities in which people are dependent on outputs of the primary sector and transform them to produce goods are known as secondary activities or secondary sector economic activities. The secondary sector includes the construction of buildings, roads, etc. and providing utilities like water, electricity, gas and other necessities. Some examples of secondary sector activities include the processing of grains obtained from agricultural fields to make flour in mills, extraction of oil from groundnut and processing of tea leaves to Derived T. Tertiary activities, all those economic activities that provide support to people involved in primary and secondary activities are called tertiary activities or tertiary sector economic activities. For example, the driver of a truck transports grains and vegetables from the farm to a factory or the market. Similarly, communication services through mobile and internet software development and services at hotels, restaurants, banks, schools, hospitals, airports, shops, warehouses, etc. are all examples of tertiary sector economic activities. This sector is also called the service sector. You need to write only two or three examples. Next one, explain the working of Gram Panchayat. A Gram Panchayat is a foundational unit of local self-government in rural India. It operates at the village level and is responsible for the development and administration of the village. Then, its members are elected directly by the Grama Sabha which is a group of adults from a village or group of neighboring villages who are enrolled as voters. In the Grama Sabha, women, men discuss all matters related to their area and take decisions. Each Gram Panchayat elects a head or president called Sarpanch or Prathan. 
The Gram Panchayat is assisted by a Panchayat Secretary who performs administrative functions such as calling meetings and maintaining records. Most Gram Panchayats are also assisted by an officer called a Patwari. In many parts of India, who maintains the villages land records. Explain a few central ideas of Jainism. Jain teachings include Ahimsa, Anegandavada, Aparigraha. Ahimsa is non-violence. This is the most fundamental principle of Jainism. It extends to all living beings including animals, plants and even microscopic organisms. Jains believe that violence in thought, word or deed creates negative karma. Next one, Aneka and the Vada means not just one aspect or perspective. That is, the truth has many aspects and cannot be fully described by any single statement. Next is, Aparigraha means non-possession and advises detachment from material possessions, limiting oneself to what is truly necessary in life. Jains believe that attachment to material possessions and worldly things leads to suffering. On the outline map of India, mark the following. Harappa, Mohanjadaro, Dolavira, Lothal, Kalimangan. Here the points are marked. Please go through it. Children, playlists for other videos are given in the description box. Please go through it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe.